guys, it's Jennifer. Welcome back to Busy Being Jen. I am here today to talk about the September mini challenge. Now, I forgot to do the August challenge and it is too good of a challenge not to mention. So I definitely want to talk about that. For the September challenge, I'm going to try to do a little bit of August challenge, but I'm not going to uh, try to do it every day. I mean, that's just too much. You guys know I'm all about setting realistic goals. So my mini challenges are all about coming up with something that you do for a short period of time, the duration of a month. It's something that's good for mind, body, and soul. And it is in place of trying to do one thing as a New Year's resolution for the whole year. So um, I'll tell you what September's is in a second. But the August challenge was supposed to be a photo a day challenge. And I thought it would be really nice to do because this time of year in Flagstaff, Arizona, where I live, there are just wildflowers everywhere. And not that I wanted to take every picture of wildflowers, but I thought that would be nice. Um, so it's a photo a day. I am not a photographer. I'm not an artist. I don't really have a creative eye. I don't have a fancy camera. I, I use my iPhone when I take pictures like this. I've done a challenge like this in the past. And what I try to do is just get a creative look at something. Like instead of just taking a picture like this, I turn the camera at an angle or I get up super close on something. Um, I'll, I'm going to talk about a few. I've done it in the past in case you want to challenge yourself to this. Um, like I took a picture of my dog Monica's nose. She's a Boston Terrier. Took a picture of her nose close up. I did a picture of my cat Mary's ear. Um, I got close to a loofah sponge that was in my shower. Uh, and then one time I just took a stack of these microfiber cloths that I had sitting next to my sink and I just got really close up on those and it, it doesn't look like dishcloths. It just, I don't know, just looks like something kind of cool. And then, oh, my favorite one probably was that this wasn't part of a challenge, but I was out hiking um, up on the mountain and I was in all these really tall aspen trees it was in the fall. They were just, they were turning yellow and kind of orangey yellow and just looking really pretty. And I just took my iPhone and I just pointed it straight up at the sky with these aspen trees around it. And it was the coolest picture. I'll pop that in for you too. So, um, so I like to do that. I like to challenge myself to take a photo a day every so often. Not a picture of my food. Not a picture of something I just cooked for dinner unless I do something creative like, you know, zooming in on the seeds of a tomato or, you know, something like that. Because there's nothing wrong with taking a picture of food. It's just that the idea of this challenge is just to look at everything with a different, just kind of a different view instead of just the regular everyday kind of pictures. So, so anyway, maybe you'll join me for that one. But the one that I had planned originally for September that I'm absolutely going to do is um, I am going to write a blog post a day. So I have a blog, myflagstaffhome.com. It does not have very many posts on it. It used to have a lot of posts on it. So what happened was that, um, so, uh, I started the blog in 2012, only did a couple of posts. Then from 2014 to 2016, I did a bunch. I had a lot of posts on there, two years worth of posts, pictures, things I wrote about, some stuff that was like tutorials, other things that were funny, reflective, whatever. And when I was starting up a different blog for when I, I moved to a farm property, um, that one was a little green farmhouse. Um, as I was switch transferring things over and starting this new blog, I accidentally deleted my entire blog. Two years worth of posts. I deleted every one. One of them was even like featured in a blog thing and it was highlighted. Oh, such a great post about hummingbirds. And so then I was just too depressed to get it started again. And then, um, I have in the past couple of years written a post here and there and, you know, it's on there, but um, it doesn't have the kind of content it had before. And each time I try to get going with it, I get so depressed over losing all that stuff that it's hard to bring myself to do it. But I have decided that in September, I am going to write a post a day 
I've already made a list of what those posts or ideas. I don't, I think I have more than 30 listed, uh, but I am going to get that blog up and running so that I can, you know, just kind of keep adding to it. It's a cool, it's a cool, um, blog and it has all different kinds of stuff on it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So if you're, if you're into writing, you might want to think about doing some kind of a writing challenge. If maybe you used to creative writing and you haven't been doing that, you might want to challenge yourself to write a little bit every day, journaling, whatever, or maybe you just want to do the photo a day, but I hope you'll come along with me. Oh, and you don't have to do any of those things. You could just decide, you know what? I gained weight during COVID and I'm going to eat healthy and walk more um, during the month of September and take off a couple pounds. Yeah, you could do that too. It's up to you. Just do something good for yourself, something good for mind, body, and soul, and um, do it for 30 days and see if it becomes a habit. One more thing I want to tell you about is I just hope you'll come back for the October challenge. This has been the October challenge is the one that I have been looking forward to ever since I came up with the ideas that I was going to use for 2021. And it is a month of random acts of kindness. And I have listed a whole slew of things. I came up with things that um, you don't have to leave the house for, as well as things that you would leave the house for. Because I didn't know in January um, when I first posted that, I didn't know what the world was going to be like. And so I didn't know if we'd be getting out the door for things. But wouldn't it be great if all of us, you know, it's just a small group of people. But if if all of us just did 30 random acts of kindness for people, you know, and, and uh, if it just starts with a small number of people, maybe we can um, put some positivity out there in the world. So that is going to be October's challenge. So at the end of this month, at the end of September, um, probably about the third week, come back and third, maybe into the beginning of the fourth week, come back. Um, I'll tell you how things went on my um, September challenge, and then I'll give you the specifics for the October challenge. So I hope you guys are doing well. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you are not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Take care, you guys. Bye.